I'm here to do my best for the environment. I have like three daughters, and I want them to live in a better world. So, and I have a history with drug problems and psychic problems. So, so I'm, I learned that uh, changes come by involving yourself actively in the society. So, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> A few days ago, we had the pleasure to be beach cleaning with Medvandrana, an organization which supports people recovering from issues like drug addiction. My name is Björn. I'm uh, 57 years old. I have been a drug addict for over 40 years. So I have been clean over the last seven years. And I, I, I found my family in uh, Medvandrana. Medvandrana, it's we use in nature to find a way to in the recovery from addicts. Uh, me myself, I'm uh, earlier a uh, hard drug addict in 30 years. Been uh, using heroin, living on the streets and all that. And uh, my way to take life back was to use nature. So, being out in nature can be a good form of therapy. And of course, achieving a healthier lifestyle. I used to live pretty destructive uh, my own life for some decades. But those times are gone and I'm here to yeah, make this world a little better place and make me a better person. By involving you for some higher cause, by um, connect healthy um, relationships, and uh, by using nature, that's the ingredients for uh, to start to a better life. Everyone needs to have something to do, so uh, it's very good to give something back to the society and the environment. This organization. Uh, we find some kind of motivation to, to take responsibility in, uh, in life. Uh, no one uh, not to come to get something, to give something. That's the solution, responsibility. So this is recovery for me and us, to take responsibility in life. A few minutes and it's full. It's a shame. Same for you young guys. You have to live with this. It's very sadness. I get sad when I see all the plost. Do you think we make a difference? I hope so. I hope so. I'm not sure. Perhaps it's too late. No, well, I think we, we... So we have to make it clean. <laughs> and when the next storm is over, we have to make it clean again. <laughs> Until those people who produce and lose all this stuff start to change. Until then, we will be here picking. You can see here why, it is, why, why it's important. We destroy the ocean with the plast. But it's, it's a good feeling to take up all the trash. That's a good thing. And uh, to do that, we don't manage it alone. Uh, you know, we come from a um, pack. So my my pack was a uh, destructive I pack. Hope. With drugs and alcohol and criminality and prison and all that. So we just changed that pack to a uh, good pack. Without the drugs, you know. We can't probably don't change the world, but we can uh, maybe change the life for the people who involve themselves and they have a good life. So that is how change is happening. Taking care of nature and somehow, maybe not realizing at first, through helping the nature, you are helping yourself and every living being as well. With every item of plastic you pick, you remove some of the world's darkness. With every space in nature you are cleaning, you are slowly cleaning up your headspace too. We can't be separated from the environment around us. 
And if we keep neglecting our planet, our only home, and if by 2050 there is going to be more plastic than fish in the ocean, we are also going to destroy our future and the ones of our children. It is our responsibility to take action. And together, as team workers, in a good pack, we can battle all issues in life, ranging from drug addiction to ocean pollution. <laughs>